Hey, it's Minius. Mass Effect is known largely for its story, characters, and setting, and those things tend to overshadow what has become an excellent combat system. And what made that combat system excellent was all of the abilities you could use. Throughout the series encompassing the three games and the multiplayer, you have 95 different abilities to choose from. 95. Now, I'm not interested in debating exactly what qualifies as an ability. Some abilities folded into others, and others branched out to do different things. I counted 95, and the point is that that is a lot of abilities. A whole lot. Probably more than you can reasonably fit into a single player campaign. So what abilities are going to make it into the new game? I can think of two that have already been suggested or leaked. The first comes from the announced trailer, and I've mentioned this one in a few videos already so I'll be brief, but that's the aerial strike shown here. This looks real, real similar to the Havoc strike in the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. I might be reading too much into that one clip though. The Mass Effect 2 trailer featured Grunt taking out a Thresher Maw with a diving shotgun blast. Which was awesome, but also not in the actual game. In fact, none of your characters could dive at all, but it was put in a trailer because it was awesome. And that might be the case for the aerial strike, but I'm inclined to think this one is legit because we've seen something similar in gameplay before. The second ability comes from that Reddit leak that I seem to mention in every other video, where it describes a squadmate of yours named Korra who has, quote, the ability to deploy a biotic shield that protects everyone in the bubble while still allowing you and your squad to fire out of it. Does this sound familiar? It should. Aside from the shield you can have one of your biotic squad mates create for you on the collector race in Mass Effect 2, you can look at the DLC for Mass Effect 3, where both the female Turian Nyrene and the Asari Justicar multiplayer character have a near identical ability. So that gives us a Havoc Strike and a Biotic Sphere, but that's just two. And interestingly enough, both of those abilities were invented basically after the release of Mass Effect 3, but there should be older abilities, right? Out of those 95 abilities in Mass Effect history, five have been featured in all three games and the multiplayer. Overload, Singularity, Warp, Throw, and Stasis are Mass Effect staples. Also, several essential class-specific abilities were added for Mass Effect 2 and stayed throughout. And it's difficult to imagine a Mass Effect without the Infiltrator's Tactical Cloak, the Vanguard's Biotic Charge, the Soldier's Adrenaline Rush, or the Sentinel's Tech Armor. Other ME2 abilities that stuck around include Concussive Shot, Incinerate, Pull, and Shockwave, and it would be weird if they weren't included. Two other types of abilities that may or may not actually be abilities are Ammo Powers and Grenades. In the original Mass Effect, both grenades and guns took pieces of equipment to change their explosive power and ammo type, but this changed. Mass Effect 2 added ammo abilities instead of ammo equipment, and DLC in Mass Effect 2 reintroduced grenades as abilities for certain characters. Grenades became sort of a hybrid slash consumable in Mass Effect 3, and ammo power sort of converted back to the consumable equipment for the multiplayer. I'm spending so much time on this because there are several directions they could go with for these. They could keep them both as abilities that you need to upgrade with points when you level up, and that would be fine. Or they could return them to equipables and or consumables, and that would also be fine. The more intriguing option comes when you add the crafting mechanic. What if you have to craft your specialty ammunition? To me, this seems a bit more realistic and also a bit more fun. One thing I'm not worried about at all is new abilities. If anyone had any doubts about the developers being able to come up with new and exciting abilities, the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer DLC should have smashed that. 38 of those 95 abilities I spoke of were introduced in the multiplayer DLC, and I know I sound like a bit of a fanboy for saying it, all of them were awesome. Fun fact, the guys who worked on the multiplayer, Bioware Montreal, are working on Mass Effect Andromeda, so there really is no doubt in my mind that we will be treated to new, brilliant Mass Effect abilities. But what abilities do you guys want to see in Mass Effect Andromeda? Interestingly enough, that's the topic of my next video. If you like this video, please give it a like. Keep an eye on Minius GC for the 10 abilities I want, as well as more Mass Effect videos. But for now... I should... Ah, uh, wait, I'm not done yet. One of the videos I did earlier called The Early Exit Theory seems to be doing pretty well, and I wanted to give a shout out to the proper bloke. If you guys like looking at Andromeda theories, that's the channel to go to. So there's a link right here. Check him out. He's got a ton of them. And now. I should go. No!